Welcome back to the Vegan Test Kitchen, everyone. Today, we're making something I guarantee you've never made before. We're making acorn squash pear and azuki soup with sauteed shiitakes. Ooh, boy, we're gonna have some fun tonight. So, grab a glass of wine, because we got a lot of prepping to do. As you see, we have a lot of veggies to prep. We have some acorn squash, some red pepper, onion, two Bartlett pears, lime, ginger, garlic. There's a lot going on here. All right, we're gonna start with these acorn squash because they're gonna be the most difficult. So we're gonna cut these in half. All right, we have a sword in the stone situation. Gah. All right, we're gonna quarter these. Take the seeds out and then we're gonna peel them. All right, onto the pears. Probably should have peeled these first. You wanna get really firm pears because you want them to be nice and crunchy and tart. Okay, and we're gonna slice these into one inch long pieces, thin slices. Red pepper. And we're gonna cut these into quarter inch slices. Same thing with the onion. And we're gonna mince garlic and ginger. All right, now it's time to cook. Grab a large stock pot, put it on medium heat, and we're gonna saute our onions and our peppers in peanut oil. We're gonna saute these for about 10 minutes. Okay, our onions are just beginning to brown, so now we're gonna throw in our garlic and our ginger, saute for one more minute. You wanna make sure to stir this often. And then we're gonna add our salt and our Chinese five spice powder, as well as our acorn squash and pear. Now we're only gonna saute this for one more minute. Then we're gonna add our vegetable stock. All right, we're gonna cover this and bring to a boil. Fun fact, the Bartlett pear is also known as the Williams in other parts of the world. And the Williams trees were originally imported in the US around 1799. Now the grounds that they were planted on were later acquired by a man named Enoch Bartlett. Bartlett couldn't identify the trees, so he decided to introduce them to the US as his own variety. The Bartlett pear is a unique pear because the color brightens as it ripens, unlike other pears. So, the greener the pear, the more crunchy and tart. If you want a more super sweet juice, let it develop to a golden yellow. And remember, always let your pears ripen at room temperature. All right, we are boiling. So we are going to lower it to a medium low. Still gonna keep a brisk simmer. And we're gonna let it do that for another 20 minutes. While that's cooking, go ahead and grab your shiitake mushrooms because we're gonna prep these along with our lime juice. Now you need four ounces of shiitake mushrooms. All right, now we are just going to take a damp cloth. I'm gonna wipe these down. Now, believe it or not, the cookbook did not say anything about removing the stems. Now, I know that's usually common with shiitakes, 
but they didn't say it. So we're not going to. Also, in the pictures, they had the stems, so. I'm just gonna remove the very bottom part, because it looks gross. And it's, you know, really tough and fibrous. And we're just gonna chop these in half, too. All right. And we need one tablespoon of lime juice. All right, so we're gonna check our soup, and it looks like our squash is actually tender. So we're good to go. Now, what we're gonna do is blend half of this. You can either let it cool, stick it in a blender, or use an immersion blender. I'm gonna use an immersion blender because I don't wanna wait. Now again, we're only doing half. All right, I think we did a good job blending half of that, if I do say so myself. Now we're gonna put in our adzuki beans, or in some cases, adzuki beans. Now these might be kind of hard to find for you. I had to get these at Whole Foods. Um, they'll be in the either the bean section or the Asian section. You wanna drain this and rinse it. All right, let's add these along with our lime juice to our pot. All right, we're gonna cover this again. And we're gonna simmer this over low heat for about seven to 10 minutes. And in the meantime, we're going to saute our shiitake mushrooms. All right, in our heavy bottom skillet, we're gonna add our toasted sesame oil along with our peanut oil. And we're gonna throw in our mushrooms. We're gonna saute these for about seven minutes until they get nice and soft. I added just a bit of water because I don't think I heated my pan properly enough because it's sticking. All right, these are nice and soft. So we're going to add our soy sauce. We're gonna saute it for another minute, stirring constantly until it all absorbs. If you could smell this, it's amazing. All right, I think we're ready to serve. Let's try it. First off, I have to say that these sauteed mushrooms smell delicious. So these sauteed mushrooms add a nice little salty, saltiness to it. They're nice little toppings. The soup is nice, it's creamy, it's just a little sweet. The beans add a nice flavor to it. I think between the red peppers and the squash, you know, it's gonna be like a slightly sweeter soup. I think this would be a nice, well, really fall or winter soup. It could possibly use a dash more salt, and quite frankly, I would like to throw a pepper on it. And I bet it would be really good with some bread. Those mushrooms, by themselves, are a little dangerous. I can't believe I'm eating mushrooms by themselves. I've really come around. All right, y'all, there you have it. Acorn squash pear and adzuki soup with sauteed mushrooms. I hope you liked what you saw today. If you did, hit a thumbs up. I would love you for it. Make sure to share and comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. I will see you all next time. Get to prepping. Get to chopping. Get to chopping. Prepping. Chopping. Prepping. Chopping. Okay, let's add these along with our lime juice to our sauce. To our sauce.